a land where we'll never have the issues that we see in this life. Don't have to worry about any type of virus or any type of uh, hindrance in fellowship. You talk about fellowship. I had a guy tell me one time, he said, when we go, when we go to heaven, he said, and y- y'all preach about it a lot, and said, <clears throat> if you're up there and it lasts for eternity and all you're going to do is praise God for eternity, just over and over and over and keep praising God, he goes, don't you think that kind of get old a little bit? Honestly, I said, well, you probably not have to worry about that. You know, but if that's all it is, praising God for eternity, wouldn't that still be all right, wouldn't it? Huh? Count me in. Count me in. If that's all we're going to do is sit there and just give him the praise and the glory forever and ever and ever, count me in. I'd rather be there doing that than in a devil's hell. Huh? Because that's where we were headed. Is that not right? Destined for a lake of fire, headed for a devil's hell. That's where we were going. And no hope, no way of getting out, not fixing it ourselves, not being able to, 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 to just, just, just no hope at all until God sent Jesus Christ, His Son, and He paid the price on Calvary. Yes, I owe Him everything, Brother Darrell. And if that's all we're going to do is give Him praise, then I'm going to give Him praise for eternity because He deserves it all. For I know in me is nothing. But because of him, I'm somebody. Because of him, I get to go to heaven. Not because of what I did, Brother Arnie, but because of what Jesus Christ did. So church, do you owe him praise today? Has he saved your soul? Has he wrote your name in the Lamb's book of life? We could give him praise for the rest of the days of our lives and not praise him enough for what he's done. So let's think on that today. Let's think on what he's done for us, not what we do for him. Because when I think about what I do for him, I've come up way, way short. Because I know there's more that I could do. You ever do that? You ever lay down at night sometimes and think about the, what, you know, and if you don't do this, do this. Lay down when you, when you get ready to go to bed and you're laying there. Just think back through the whole day. All the things that God has blessed you with, how that God has watched over you while you traveled, why, how that He's given you strength and give you breath and, and He's helped you and He's blessed you and He's blessed your family. Think about all those things and then try to think about what you did for Him that day. What have we done for the Lord today? Hmm? Well, that makes me feel bad. Yeah. yeah, that lowers me down a little bit right there. Sometimes, sometimes we get boastful, don't we? Sometimes we think we're more than what we are. And that's my prayer a lot of times, brother, therefore I ever get out of my seat. Lord, forgive me for ever thinking of myself to be more than what I am. For I know that I'm nothing. I know that I'm a sinner saved by the grace of God. I know that I I was destined for a devil's hell. But then God reminds me, you were like that, but you're not anymore. You know what? We're the children of God. We've got a home in heaven waiting on us. We've got a King of kings and the Lord of lords. We've got hope today don't we Uh, we've got life uh, and got it more abundantly Uh, we've got a peace that the world just don't understand Uh, uh, pandemic or not guess what Uh, uh, I've got a comfort when I lay down at night Uh, why because the love of God uh, flows through me Uh, uh, guess what Uh, uh, I was born of sin Uh, you know that Uh, of Adam's sin but I was reborn uh, 27 years ago and I've got new blood that flows through my veins, a royal blood, a, a part of, a, of the blood of Jesus. Praise His name today. And that's why I've got that peace that surpasses understanding. It's not in what I can do, but it's in what Jesus did. Praise His name. We've got that peace today. We've got that hope today. Oh, but the devil... He wants us to see the destruction. He wants us to see the the scary things. He wants us to have worry. Worry is not of God. Fear is not of God. He didn't give us a spirit of fear, did He? 
Huh? But what did he give us the spirit of? Uh, of love and of a sound mind, a spirit of power, a, a sound mind. Think about that. A sound mind. What does the devil want you to think about? The worries of life. How many of us lay down at night sometimes and we can't sleep? Huh? Because we worry about something. How many of us lay down at night and we worry about our children? How many of us lay down at night and we're worried about maybe the pandemic here, the virus? Maybe it controls our life a little bit. Huh? How many of us get worried about those things? How many of us get worried about we got an election coming up? Anybody worry about that? Anybody worry about the future of this country uh, that our kids are going to grow up in? We ever worry about that? Worry is not of God. Let's put it in the hands of the Lord. Let's have prayer about those things. And let's cast our cares upon Him for He cares for us. That's why He's there. He loves us. He's touched by our infirmities. Worry. He didn't give us a spirit of worry. Spirit of fear? No. Spirit of love and of sound mind. Brother Darrell told you all about that armor, didn't he? You know what that helmet shields up? The mind? How do we have a sound mind? If we're not up and about the Father's business, we're not going to have a sound mind. If we're not diving into the Word, we're not going to have a sound mind. And the devil's going to attack us. That spiritual wickedness in high places, that, that raging lion who would destroy us and kill us if he could. He wants to cause us troubles and cause issues and put things up in our way. You know how he does that? Right here in our mind. That's where he works. But we've got a helmet of salvation if we would realize it and, and understand what that does it'll protect their mind but there's another one he told you about the shoes he told you about the belt the breastplate of righteousness the, the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit do you know there's another one and people leave it out all the time they say oh I got the armor and I've got the armor and he says and prayer with Without ceasing, the armor protects the outside, but the prayer, it works on the inside. That gets your mind where it needs to be. That gets you where you want to be, where you want to be, church. Give me Jesus. That's what I'm going to focus on. By prayer. That's how we get where we need to be. Because it's not by our understanding. Hmm? But by prayer, we can get the understanding of God. His ways are so far above our ways as the heaven is the earth. How can we know the thoughts of God? But by prayer, we can humble ourselves before Him. But in all our ways, let's acknowledge Him. And He'll direct our path. So how many of us here today have the armor on? Huh? You don't put the armor on unless you're willing to fight. A lot of people pick the armor. Well, I'm not called to that. I'm, I'm called to do this, or I'm called, no, 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 I'm not going to, that's not my job. Preaching, that's, that's just to the preacher, you know. Everybody, 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 the, all the children of God are called to declare the name of Jesus. Oh, but that's the preacher's job. No, no, preacher does have a job, okay? That's the moderator's job to go out and to get the people to come. You know, he does have a job too. But we've all ought to be the light of the world. He said that he was the light of the world, but he said, if I go away, then you are the light of the world. How big is your light shining today? How big is your light shining? How, who is it hitting today? Do you know we, 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 we reach more people by our walk than we do our talk? I wonder sometimes if that helmet of salvation don't, don't need to have this on it. You know, something that covers up. Because sometimes it's our walk. Sometimes it's, you know, we touch more with our walk. Well, who are we touching today? I'm saying a lot of things, and I don't expect words to come back to my direction, okay? I'm not, I'm not asking those questions. I, I'm posing questions to you, wanting you to ask yourselves so you can see where are you at. Because the battle is raging. There are things going on. And you know what's at stake? The sinner, man and, and woman. 
Those souls are at stake. Your children, your children's children, your neighbors, your friends. So should we not be up and about the Father's business? People think, oh, but I go to church. And I told my wife just, just, just last night we was looking through the, the, new, the new minute books that come out. And we was going through and looking at all the different churches and things. And I said, some of these churches that I see, and some of the, and even Rock Fork, I'm going to ask this question. I'm not pointing out anybody or pointing out any church. But we have a meeting time and we meet on the 4th. Now this, I guess, is to the Rock Fork Church members. If you're listening or if you're here today, to the Rock Fork Church members, we have our meeting time on the 4th meeting time at 10 o'clock. And we have a business meeting on the Saturday before that at 10 o'clock. When that time is over and the church doors are closed, uh, uh, do we ever give it another thought about the Rock Fork Church for another month? Is it, is it just laid down? Uh, is, 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 are, are we, is our armor, do we just leave it here? We put it on while we're here and we take it off when we leave and we don't ever think about a, a church again for another month? Is, is that how it is? Uh, because sometimes that's how it feels, Brother Darrell. Uh, uh, and that's kind of harsh. Uh, uh, and I don't mean to be harsh, uh, but I'm telling you, I feel that we're living in the last days. Uh, uh, we don't have time to play around. Uh, uh, we don't have time. Uh, uh, just to go to church once a month uh, uh, and don't worry about it again and come the next month. Uh, uh, but we need to be up and about the Father's business. Uh, get the armor on. Uh, uh, I can tell you when Daryl was up uh, and these other brothers, uh, uh, you know what I was doing over here? Uh, uh, I was lacing my shoes up uh, 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 and I'm putting it on. Uh, you know why? Because the battle is raging. Uh, uh, we're going to close uh, uh, services here just in a little bit. Uh, but you know what I I've been doing. I've been feeding from the table. I've been getting renewed, and I'm getting my marching orders, brother Darrell. For when those doors open here, just in a little bit, I'm going to battle. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to let the banner wave, and I'm going to sound the trumpet because we've got a battle, and we've got something to do today. Praise the name of the Lord. Do we not want to fight? Let's get up and about his business. I'm telling you, we can do more. We can do more. And I'm telling myself, I can do more. Brother Darrell, I come short. But that's no excuse. I come short, but that's no excuse. I'm telling you, let's get it on. And if you need help, you've got brothers and sisters that'll help you. Church, are we helping one another? Are we praying for one another? Do we see somebody in need? Are we helping? Let's help one another put their armor on. That's what we're here for. And let's go to prayer. Find your and God time. Isolate yourself from the world. Isolate yourself from your family. Isolate yourself to where it's just you and it's just God. And, and pour your heart out unto Him. And say, God, here I am. I know there's something you want me to do. God, here I am. Use me. If it's the ministry, pour your heart out unto Him. And get into the Word. And God will use you. If it's a ministry of health, the same to do. Uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, it's to work with the kids. Uh uh, uh, maybe it's a prayer life. Uh, uh, you're a prayer warrior. Uh, then stay on your knees because your brothers and sisters need you. Uh, uh, there's something to do. Uh, praise His name today. Amen. There's always something to do. Are we willing to do it? Because if we don't have that helmet on, the devil's going to clear you. It's going to clear to you so that you'll get down to the end of the day. You're like, oh, oh, I've got to pray right fast before I go to bed. What if you started your day out with prayer? Huh? What if you started your day out with reading? What if you started your day out with Christ and not try to throw them in at the end? 
We do that. How many times have you been woke up? Oh, I forgot to read today. I forgot to pray before I went to sleep. Mm -mm. We don't have time. Our kids need us. Your kids need us. There's stuff to do. Age, even in that old age, thou shalt bear fruit. That's what it says. Willingness. Are we willing to do what God wants us to do? Are we willing to lay down the things? Because in our minds, we can so easily be caught up in so much other things that are important. But I'm telling you, let's put God first. Let's be open about the Father's business. God loves you. Brother Darrell, y'all hunt you a song. We'll get out a little bit early today. That's all right. Because the battle's out there waiting. I'm going to ask this question. Say there was a battle. Now we know that the yard is a spiritual battle. Right out them doors. Let's say we've seen it visually <clears throat> with our natural eyes. The devil's standing right out there. Let's just say it. We open them doors and the devil's standing right there. How many of us are ready? How many of us feel strong enough to Let's go. Let's go. Well, how many would say, let's pray a little longer? Hmm? Let's stay just a little longer to get, get a little bit bolder. Hmm? If we've seen it, yeah. Yeah, if we've seen it with our natural eyes out there waiting on us, what, what was really out there, that spiritual wickedness, if we could just really see it, Would we feel like we're ready? Or would we want to be churched up a little bit more? Huh? Let's sing a couple more songs. Let's get fired up. Let's get fired up. Huh? That's kind of, well, we need to be like that. We need to be like that. Sometimes we don't see the full picture. Wasn't Elisha's helper that looked out there early one morning? Huh? Went over on top of that place and looked around and seen the armies all around him and knew that, knew that they were there. That was it. That's it. We're, we're, we, we, we've done it now. We've, they got us. They, got, they were surrounded, wasn't they? Went back down in and told him. Elisha told him. He, said, he told the Lord. He prayed, didn't he? Prayed. Opened his eyes and let him see. Let him see. Because I told you just now, maybe if we go out there and we can see the spiritual wickedness, maybe, I, maybe we need to pray that God lets us see His spiritual goodness and the power that He has. Because not only is there spiritual wickedness out there, but just like they prayed for that little boy, guess what? He got up over the end and looked his helper. And what did he see? He said, I see chariots of fire surrounding us. It was God's army, wasn't it? Well, guess what? It's still there. He has the power. He has all power in heaven and in earth. Nothing formed against us shall prosper. Let's realize who we are. Huh? And then let's go to battle. Let's go to battle. Few in number today don't matter. Don't get me started, don't get in. Huh? Few in number don't matter. All that matters is right here. All that matters is what's on the inside. Do you not know that the same spirit that rose Christ from the grave dwells on the inside of you? Oh, let's realize who we are. Let's see the fire that burns within. And let's go to battle. Because the end is coming. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not much. I've never thought myself to be much. But there when God called me to the ministry, I ran fast. Why would you want somebody like me who stutters and somebody who won't hardly even speak a word out in public and somebody like me? Huh? I know that I'm not nothing according to myself. But in God, He has all power. Let's be willing to be used 
Are you willing to be used today? Are you willing to be used? Let's get up and about his business and let's go to battle. Maybe you're fighting for the other team and you want to change.